May I now request the Honorable President of India, Shri Pranab Mukherjee, to kindly address the gathering. Dr. Karan Singh, President, Indian Council for Cultural Relations. Dr. Suresh Guel, Director General, ICCR. Distinguished participants in the seminar, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. I am delighted to join you in the seminar being organized on the occasion of the 150th birth anniversary of Swami Vivekananda, a celebrated son of Mother India. Swami Vivekananda's contribution to India's cultural renaissance brought him unparalleled eminence not only in our country but throughout the world. He lived less than 40 years, but he led a life of intensity and expansiveness. Being the superior creation of God, he believed that human beings and the state of their existence cannot be ignored. He left, he felt that religion should be a weapon for self-transformation as well as transformation of the society. His guru, Sri Ramakrishna Paramahans, had taught him that service to man was service to God. Swamiji made this principle the basis of his social service program. He imbibed the message of his guru that anything which helps to realize God in life should be accepted as conducive to the practice of religion and realization of the highest truth. Swamiji never thought of his guru in relation to his own personal life, but thought of him in relation to India and the rest of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, Swamiji was undoubtedly a brilliant scholar and a profound thinker. He combined his wisdom with his concern for the nation and her suffering masses. He traveled extensively within the short span of his life within the country to understand their problems. He was deeply troubled by the abject poverty of our masses and held that the country's downfall was primarily due to suppression of the poor, who were also immersed in ignorance and superstition. He saw that the poor people in India needed most was the basic necessities of life, such as food, clothes and shelter. Swamiji believed that every human being is endowed with immense potentiality, but to realize it, people need self-confidence. He used to say, I quote, he is an atheist who does not believe in himself, unquote. In his speeches and teachings, he boosted the confidence of people by saying, and again I quote, all power is with you. You can do anything and everything. Believe in that. Do not believe that you are weak, unquote. I quote a few lines from the observations of Mahatma Gandhi, who once said, I quote, I have gone through his works thoroughly, and after having gone through them, the love that I had for my country became a thousandfold." Unquote. He loved and treated all human beings as equal, without any distinction of caste, religion, race, nationality, or gender. He believed in egalitarian philosophy, 
and wanted equal opportunities for all by not bringing down the highest but raising the lower to the level at the height of higher. Being a universalist, Swami Vivekananda's knowledge and understanding of spiritualism went beyond Hinduism. He was deeply familiar with the message of other religions. Swamiji had the foundation of harmony amongst religions and also harmony between religion and science. All through his life, Swamiji spread his Guru's message of harmonious religion. Jato mount, tato pot, as many faiths, as many paths. Swamiji viewed religion as the science of consciousness and believed that religion and modern science are complementary rather than contradictory. He portrayed religion as a universal concept and liberated it from the age-old scourges of superstitions, dogma and intolerance. Ladies and gentlemen, to commemorate the 150th anniversary of Swami Vivekananda, a national committee under the chairmanship of the Prime Minister and a national implementation committee, which I had the privilege of chairing when I was Finance Minister, is now being chaired by the Defence Minister, Sri A. K. Antoni. It is gratifying to note that under the guidance of these committees, Several activities have been undertaken to mark this event, such as printing of books on the life and teachings of Swamiji in different languages, production and circulation of audiovisual material on Swamiji, propaganda of the teachings through media, and conservation of monuments of different religions as a mark of respect to his views on religious harmony. The University of Swamiji teachings holds great relevance in the modern world. Despite progress made by our society, is confronted with the issues challenging our ethics and morality. Swamiji's teachings should be our guiding light in our path to future. I hope that Swamiji's 150th anniversary would be the occasion to awaken our minds to the great contribution and sacrifices made by him towards the welfare, progress and enlightenment of mankind. Let us rededicate ourselves to the causes for which Swami Vivekananda devolved his entire life. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>